Okay, now we're gonna work on some trick licks. Uh, for this, I've got my alto, but absolutely, uh, you can play them on any saxophone uh, that you play, and it's, they're all gonna work. So, uh, as you can see uh, in, the, uh, in my curriculum here, there are three different lessons um, of trick licks. And this first uh, trick licks lesson, I'm gonna show you three things. Um, you know, these are just things that, I hate to call them trick licks, you know, it sounds so, so silly, but, um, but when people ask me about, uh, you know, how do you do this, or how do you do that, or I heard you play this on a particular solo, um, everybody always refers to it, how'd you do that trick? You know, the thing, thing's a trick, you know, and, and so, um, so, hey, trick licks, it rhymes, makes sense. So, um, the first one uh, is a, a common, uh, I don't know, even know if it's like a, a, a lick, but it's a, a common technique, I guess, of a downward articulation. Um, a downward, uh, well, it is an articulation, but downward grace note. Um, it, the grace note actually becomes part of your articulation, that's important. I also want you to uh, note that I'm practicing what I'm preaching when I talk about keeping your mouthpiece cap on your mouthpiece. I'm, I'm trying to do it every time. Uh, the only time I don't is when I've just played and I've maybe forgotten, but, I, but it's really important. It's become a habit for me to always have my mouthpiece cap on my mouthpiece. Again, it protects the reed from breaking. You know, we spend a lot of money on our reeds, and um, it's always a bummer when we accidentally uh, swipe our hand across it or somebody walks past it and breaks your, your fantastic reed that you've, uh, you know, you've finally gotten even. Uh, even though you, you know, and it was the one good read out of the box. So, mouthpiece cap. But for this, in order to play, I've got to take it off. Um, so, downward grace note, where you start, very typically we think of a grace note as being something we come up from. Remember, whether a grace note is going up or coming, uh, you know, going down, so the grace note is above the target note, um, it really is just an extension of the articulation. So wh whenever, um, whenever you play a grace note, make sure that it, you know, you're playing a grace note prior to the target note, right? So it does not affect the, the, uh, um, the, the tempo, um, rhythmically, of the note that you're targeting. So, so don't allow the grace note to be so long that it, it delays the, grace, the, um, the target note or that it makes you late. So, um, so if I were playing a lick and I was playing this, so you can do that with me if you've got your horn. Uh, it's going to be enforced if you've got your, um, your B-flat instrument, your tenor or your soprano. But anyway, I, I'm just um, going from E-flat down to D. That's actually... Let's just work on that, shall we? So, so I'm tonguing the grace note, and basically you're just kind of putting a face on the articulation, you're putting a sound on the articulation, and that's all it is. So don't allow the grace note to, um, to be long. It's no longer than the, than the uh, sound or the effect of the articulation. I'll do four, and if you've got your horn with you, you do four, okay? Okay, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. One, ready? One, two, three, four. Got it? Did you do it? So again, so if, I, if I'm just like tonguing the note, it's, again, it's just making more of the articulation. And it's a, you know, the, the trick part is when you play, say if you were to play a, a, the same note, I'm my, the first one is a target, the target note was E, so I'm playing the grace note uh, going up to it, uh, a half step uh, grace note, so it's a D sharp. And I'm going down. So, um, so the trick part is when you play both those, but the you know, the more difficult one, I guess, is the, the downward articulate, the downward first note. So however you want to, you know, work on those downward grace notes, it is kind of a cool trick. It doesn't have to be that note, just that note, obviously. So just 
um, you know, work on that grace note as, again, it's just an articulation leading to your target note, but don't let it be too long. It's a real subtle kind of a thing.